What's up, everybody? Jason here for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. 2022 Tops Gypsy Queen Baseball. Five box, half case break. Three random teams each. Number four just sold out, guys. The second half of the case. And I got, guys, ten total spots. Everybody gets three random teams. MLB member. No veteran commons will ship. No base. Two autographs. Three exclusive Gypsy Queen, uh, Gypsy Queen Chrome cards per box, guys. So here you go. We tripled up your names. And we have, of course, the teams there. Let's click the dice roll. One of three, four times. Good luck. One, two, three, and four. Four times. One, three, four. Emma, down to Emma. Boom. Four times. One, two, three, four. Chicago Cubs, down to the Minnesota Twins. There you go. Alright, there you go. And Emma, you have the Cubs. Edgar with the Red Sox. Allen with the Cardinals. Robert with the Pirates. Terry, last one with the Dodgers. Mark with the Phillies. Robert with the Mets. Jason with the Brewers. Bennett with the Astros. Emma with the Angels. Edgar with the Marlins. Bennett with the Rockies. Robert Tucker with the Yankees. Mike with the Reds. Bennett with the Royals. Allen with the Orioles, Mike with the Braves, Edgar with the White Sox, Jason with the Rays and the Giants, Robert with the Padres, Mark with the A's, Terry, last ball mojo there, you have the Diamondbacks, Allen with the Tigers, and Rangers for Terry, Mark with the Mariners, Mike with the Blue Jays, Mark with the Guardians, Robert with the Nationals, and Emma with the Minnesota Twins. So, let's uh, give you guys a little trade window potentially, right, yeah? Nice, Terry. Think blue. And uh, in the meantime, guys, while you guys are trying to trade, I'm just gonna rip open one box. I'm not gonna go through the cards. I'm just I'm just gonna rip through the rip, rip through the box. And if by the time, uh, obviously, trade window, no, nobody trades by the time I finish this box, I'll just start. Just get a little heads up while I just sit here and do nothing for like a minute. Might as well do something. Alright guys, well, I'm assuming no trades like I said, so. TWC. Perfect. Good 
luck, guys. First box. So again, there's a lot of like no name short prints, little logo variations. Um, so obviously I'll do my best to try to catch, catch all of them. But in case I don't, obviously the shipping team is the last resort there. They'll obviously, like I said, ship all the inserts, numbered cards, rookies, of course, short prints. Yeah, I've noticed that I think basically all the old timers are all like high number short prints, I assume. Because obviously there's so many active players and rookies and then all of a sudden you throw in like a Jackie Robinson and you're just like, what? You know, I've hit a couple of those. I hit a Jackie, Clemente, like Stan Musel. So I feel like those guys obviously are probably the high number of short prints or something because you don't really see them too often in a box. So anytime I see like an old school veteran guy. Guterres. For the Reds is the first autograph. Simeon. To fifty. Bogarts, Chrome. Heber Ruiz to two fifty. And Luis Patino for TB. That's number to 50. Uh, that's a Tampa Bay Rays. Singer here and a gold, nice Joey Votto. Murphy. for Tampa Bay and Jason.
All righty. <clears throat> See what we got in the next box, guys. Good luck. Here we go. There's a Roy Campanella. So like I said, it's like an old school player, so it might be like a high number short print. As you can see, 311 out of 320. There you go. Something like that. Oh, kill off. Yelich. And Jose Devers autograph here for Miami. Marlins, that is going to Edgar. No name short print. Jared Walsh. Brohan Mini. Ooh, is that a number to future? Yeah, it is to 250. Brady, if you have any to 17 loss, which you can sign for the season or still hold up. Brady, honestly, I I keep that box till like Patrick Mahomes is like career's over. I mean, obviously, if you only picked it up for eight hundred dollars, is that what you're saying? Under eight hundred dollars? I mean, if you need the money, I guess. But shit, that's something I hold for a while. Obviously. The way the 20... Ooh, nice Chrome Wander Frank. That's our first one. I mean, the way the 2020 class is looking like, that might be a way better draft class. Um, but, I mean... Yeah, I mean, obviously, NT 2020, Justin Herbert's Shield 101's already been pulled, too. You know? I mean, I, I was actually pulled at the National with us last year there. So, I mean, I... But people... There still has to be big Mahomes RPAs hiding... I don't think all 99. I don't think all 99 have been pulled, at least not the trues. But, I mean, there's always going to be value there at the end of the day. But, rookie for the Cubs, Greg Dutchman. I mean, yeah, people said he had an off year last year, and look at his stats. <laughs> you know? The good thing about Mahomes is that he's already won one. And I'm not saying that that's all he should, would need. But winning one that early in his career was a great thing. But yeah, I don't know, Brady. I probably, especially knowing if I were, if I only bought it for eight hundred bucks, yeah, I'd be conflicted of selling it like now, since I'm sure it costs a shit ton of money. But I would hold on to it long term. You know, I think at the end of the day that there's still always big hits hiding in those boxes and cases. And uh, like I said, even if the one on ones and all that have been pulled, I think we'll still be attracted to buying those in the future. 
The 2020, of course, is a very intriguing class, too. To hold on to, but... Great job, though. Having the strength to uh, not rip that back in 2017. That's all good, Brady. Yeah, yeah. So I know people that just hard wax. Not in a bad way, though. I mean, people like to display it. I think it's a good display. For sure. But no, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Patrick Mahomes and Kansas City Chiefs weren't the most popular team in 2017. I mean, let's just be honest. People are lying if they said that. You could have got a lot of Patrick Mahomes stuff really cheap his first year. Because he didn't play. That was, like, still probably the only typical, like, quarterback that Andy Reid treated. Like, like, you know, quarterback should have been, right? I mean, where usually you draft a quarterback and you made them, make them wait a year or two before they start playing. That's, that's so unheard of now, right? He was the only one. That was drafted to be the future, but they didn't need him to play that sing that same year because they were confident with Alex Smith. Yeah, Trubisky was the guy. You know, Deshaun Watson. Obviously, it was pretty amazing. No name. Flaherty. Drysdale. Yeah, so some people that were fans of Mahomes, just being a Chiefs fan or just a future, you know, investor of Mahomes, they got him probably for so cheap back in the day and cashed in if they held on to it. Jared Kalanick, gold to 50. And Hernandez, I think that's Jonathan, right? Or Yanni. That's for Texas and Terry Laspa Mojo. Chris Sale, Red Sox to 150. Edgar. Yeah, McCaffrey coming out too was really pricey, yeah. Like, he was priced in like the quarterback tiers. I mean, do you guys remember, of course, how big Dak and Ezekiel Elliott were back in 2016? I mean... Cowboys were insane of a pick your team price. <laughs> Stupid. Now go see what Ezekiel Elliott sell for. Juan or Franco? I think rookie running backs get sell for the most of their rookie year, especially if they're like so good, you know? I feel like that's like their peak. Probably, 
is a good one to have, Brady, because you can always just say that this is Patrick Mahomes' rookie year, and obviously, if you wanted to potentially even have a chance to break it to get a Tom Brady without buying a card, you'd have to rip seventeen and T and tell me how much that is, you know? Sanchez for Miami to ninety nine. Jesus Sanchez, have you with that one? Yeah, Cooper Cup obviously stuff sells well. It is a good draft class though, 2017. Wait, is Cooper Cup 2017? Or is he 2018? No, I think he is 2017. I thought he was 18 though. Could be wrong though, I guess. Definitely one of those two years. No, 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 it is 2017. It is 2017. Two more boxes. Alright, let's go guys, next box. Woodruff. Trevor Story. Devers. Marlins. I feel like a lot of Marlins autographs so far.
Gavin Sheets rookie. Flaherty for the Cardinals. Alan Murdoch to 250. Autograph for the Cubs, Batchman. Gold Bogarts. Goldschmidt, number to three ninety nine. All righty, guys, last box here. So after this, coming up next is uh, F1 Chrome, and then it looks like I got like two orders in. Flawless filler and a hockey mixer filler. So after that, we don't really have anything sold out at the moment. Six orders just came in. Last box here, guys. Good luck. Trucks. 
Camposano. Rug middle door. That's actually number two ninety nine. Wander Franco. Right. Two fifty. Nice, Wander Franco numbered. So in this break, it's our first time we got a numbered Wander Franco and a Chrome Wander Franco. Nice break there for the Rays, Jason. To 399. That probably pays for the spot and probably a couple spots to be honest. We've been unfortunate not seeing too much Wander. There's a base. And Cousins gonna be our last autograph for Milwaukee. Jake Cousins, Brewers, that's going to Jason as well. All right, guys, and there you go. So I got to toggle these autographs, but there we go. There were the 10 autos. There's a Wander Chrome. That's a short print there. So there you go, guys. Very nice. Uh, this was Gypsy Queen number four. Five will be from our fresh case. And we got all these numbered cards, short prints, and rookies here as well. That will top load as well. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you.